Yep. We are back once again, filling your Zoom feed with more of the Vintage Improv Festival players. And we have three wonderful shows tonight. We're starting off with the always enjoyable, timeless at the Nickelback, or they'll fix that name because I may have gotten it wrong, followed by Adam Foley, and then another group whose name is in front of me, but I'm not going to look down at because it wouldn't be fair. So you can come here to hear me, came here to see them. Timeless, come on up and do your magic. Speaking of magic, I've been working on some tricks. I thought that maybe I would entertain some of the people at the double nickel since we've been lagging in um, guests lately. You better try them out on us first because we never know what you're up to when you do your tricks, Jimmy. Are you missing an earring? Um, that's not all. Jimmy, go any Jimmy, further, Jimmy. Yeah. You, yes. you you practiced your magic on me, and you made the disappear part. But now you have to make the appear part also. Oh yeah, well, I know for a fact that Frida's earring is going to show up in the meatloaf. But I, I, not. it's like a New Orleans Mardi Gras surprise. You know, I've never understood when you have a magician and they put the person into the nowheres where where they go. Now I know. I have no idea where I am. Well, enjoy your time in solitude. As Charles ah. Bukowski says, when there's no one to wake you up and you have no place to go, is it freedom or loneliness? That's very exit. That's very ex. Uh, that that uh, that means a lot. <laughs> when a tree falls in the forest, is there really a sound if no one's listening? Hmm. What is the sound of one hand clapping? I heard that. I have sensitive ears. Jimmy, J yeah. Jimmy, I, I, I. Do do I owe you any money? Because I need I need to get out from disappearing. Oh, okay. Yeah, just slide it. Howie, slide let it him under. out of the refrigerator, will you? I mean, Jimmy, let Howie out of the refrigerator. I'm not in a refrigerator. That I know because I'd be cold. That is true. It's the that linen closet. All right, all right. Let me go. Let me go deal with it. I'll, well, just I'll, do your abracadabra. That's how you got right. me here. Abracadabra. Whew. You're, well, you're getting better. Your magic is getting better. You, you, and, and the last time it was with a rabbit, so I, I I'm. It couldn't um, get much worse, so it has to get better. That well, is not a vote of confidence. Yeah, Frida, I'm that's not go a over vote to the of confidence. Well, the last yeah. time you did a magic trick, we lost four customers. Not to mention two their, rabbits. Their cash disappeared. Yeah, that was a shame. They should have been carrying more. Yeah, that's not what they thought. Well, they weren't regulars. Oh, so it went to the bank of Jimmy? I would never. <laughs> I would never. <laughs> yes, you would. No, of course not. I'm going to leave you two because um, I'm recording something on Howie's big screen in his trailer. Hey, uh, hey, hey, hey. What? 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 What are you what? recording in, in my bus? You're recording something yes. in my bus? I like to call it a trailer, but you can call it a bus. Uh -oh. You're doing it from remote? From remote? Hmm. Yes. I'm it only better not be incriminating. The, I'm, I'm not in the bus. I'm only going to charge when we do the playbacks. And I've, I've only got 10 reservations so far. Let me see if I can get a couple more. And as always, Howie, I'm going to cut you in. See you, Frida. Don't cut me Bye, now, Jimmy. Jimmy. Don't cut me. Howie, I think you better find out what he's up to because it doesn't sound entirely legitimate to me. Yeah, let me go. I'll go. I'll chase him down, I guess. 
All right, I've got to go open the, the bar up because we expect a lot of customers tonight. They're, okay. they're coming in to visit and watch the eclipse. Oh, nice. They come up to the rooftop. That's why I'm wearing the glasses to practice. It's uh, supposed to give I, us a good view this uh, afternoon. I, I, I don't know because it's nighttime, so I'm not going to wear from dark glasses because it's nighttime. During the day, I would wear dark glasses, but only because my, my eye's not so good. Right. They, they do it They do it by themselves. It's like magic. The, the eyeglasses, they make from themselves. They go from dark to light, from dark to light, whenever there's dark oh, or light. Oh, you've got the changing glasses, yes. Yes, I, I've changing, well, not changing, like changing a baby glasses, but they're just glasses and they change. Don't tell me you've ever changed a baby. Of course I have. I have many babies. Really? I didn't know you had any kids back in Shickard. Uh, I have many son, sons and daughters, many of them in Shickard. So many don't you miss your family? Of course I do, very much so. But it's better that, that they be there and that I had left. It's better. Well, it's, it's better. nice at least that you have a family to go back to. You I don't wish have I did. A family? No. I haven't had a family since I was very young. Until I came here and have you guys. We're your family. Yes. I didn't have a real family growing up. Why is that? Well, my mother left when I was only 10. And my dad was too busy drinking to pay attention. So I just had to stay out of his way. Oh, so I kind sorry. of brought myself up. You take from yourself to give to yourself. Have to. That's you why you're so You can't strong. depend on anybody else. That's why I'm so tough. Well, it's it, you're, you're tough because you're tough. Didn't have a choice. Well, you're not always tough. Sometimes you're very soft. Yeah, it takes a lot to get me there, though. You know, I like to let Frida, my guard down. You know, Frida, you are always helpful for me, always. Whenever I've come from you and I say something is going from what's going, and you always say, yes, and then you make for me very good. Well... How we, I feel very protective of you because you're, you've got a good heart. Sometimes you trust people too much, but you've got a good heart and that's what's important. You know, it's not for me to decide what they are. It's only for me to decide what I am. So I give to them. If I give them, I don't know what they do with what I give them. It's That's, not for me to know. I give them because I have obligation. I give to them. You sound like a philosopher now. Ah, a little bit like Confucius. I'm very impressed. Confucius. I didn't know you had Confucius back in Chicker. You know of no, him? No Confucius. We had we had Ephes. Ephes. That sounds Ephes. confusing. He was like an oracle. Jimmy. An oracle. Yes. Did you do something in my bus? Uh, yes. And I meant to talk to you about that. Um, <clears throat> I left a few people in there because they wanted to. Um, you they wanted to watch something else, and they paid a little extra money. Um, uh oh, are you running X-rated films again? No, it's sporting events. You let people sporting into my bus. You Gambling? didn't ask yes. me. And and I took some of those verses you've been uh, saying over and over again, and I copied them, and I've been um, selling them, and and the people have been buying them, and I've Jimmy, told that's them it's always poetry. Yes, I hope you're not selling them as words of wisdom, because the biggest words of wisdom I would say is don't buy things which you can get for free. Yes, but and they don't, don't know trust that. Jimmy D. I'm going to go down and open the bar. All right. The you thing know, is, Jimmy, they're going to see you as a prophet. You know, Jimmy, um, Frida, uh, who doesn't normally say so much about herself, 
said that when she was very young, that her mother had run away. Oh, I didn't know that. She normally doesn't tell people. No, you should feel special that she shared it with you, Howie. I'm I'm glad she. I hope I hope I it wasn't supposed to be in in Confucius, I, in, in confidence. I mean in in com, in, conf, in I hope it wasn't supposed to be a secret. Well, she I'm didn't sure. say it should be a secret. Yeah, well, she would have told you if that was the case, you know. Uh, <clears throat> so many people have so many, many issues growing up. I know. Up. I know. And, but we are who we are now. I agree. We can't from blame from that. We are now who we are from now. Ah, I like that. That's good. Don't sell that. I've recorded it already. I've you know. set up a system in the room. In this room? I did. Wow. So magically, I now have to find out where you hid this thing? Well, you don't have to. You could ask, but it, I don't know that I should share it because you're going to take it out. Well, I, 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 I would like it if you had told me beforehand. Oh. Okay. You say you, you left people in my bus? Yeah, only a couple. Um, I, I, I'll go check on them in a minute. No, I, I go check on them now. I, I, I bring them some lemonade. <laughs> how, okay. how old are they? How old are they? Oh, um, a couple of kids. Oh, they're kids. Okay. Yeah. I, I bring them lemonade. Okay, I'd be back. All right. I didn't tell them about their parents, who I also left there. And I might Jimmy, have I heard that. use his kitchen. What's that? Never mind. <laughs> what? I can hear you downstairs. Well, why don't you come upstairs then? It was more fun letting you wonder where I was. Oh, I see. I see. All right. Hmm. I just hate it when you take advantage of Howie. I mean, he's so trusting of you. I know. But you know what? He always comes out ahead because I make sure that he doesn't lose anything. Well, that's good. That's good. If you made any money on those people, you really should give him some. I always do. If I didn't know better, I'd think maybe you were his money manager. No, I just like to look out for him because he's so trusting of everybody, oh. and especially he's, you. He's a little more um, wor world-wise than you would think. You think so? Yes. I do. I think he's kind of naive. But... Well, but see, that's part of his way that he comes off like that, but he's really mm -hmm. taking everything in and uses it later. Interesting. Kind of like you do. Oh, maybe that's why we get along so well. But you're a little more obvious about it. You kind of, you know, give it back. <laughs> uh, yeah, I know. That's probably from years of being where you were and kind of having to defend yourself against all those those tough guys. <clears throat> well, I said to uh, Johnny Toothpick the other day, I said, Johnny... Would you rather jam a pencil lead in my ribs or would you rather make 20 bucks? He went Very for smart. a lunge, but then he changed his mind. And you got the pencil anyway? He missed the first time. Oh. But uh, I made him the $20. Were you ever afraid when you were there? Oh, yeah, all the time. 
but you can't I bet you show didn't show it. That. No, you could never do that. That's why you just look at the world as a carnival. A carnival. Yeah. Like an amusement park. Yeah. With the yeah, mirrors, yeah. you know, the ones that make you look all <clears throat> crazy. Yeah. And you never know which ride you're on or where it's going. Ooh, that's a little scary. I don't like those big rides. Nope. Mm -mm. What's the worst time when you were in there, the time that you were really scared of something? Well, if I were to tell you that, then you would know. I would never use it against you. You know that. Uh, let's just say every day was a challenge. Yeah, I guess I could say the same about my life, too. Well, um, something smells good in the kitchen. Jimmy, Ernie, I've got to get the meatloaf. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm that's what it is. Yeah, Jimmy, yeah, Howie. Jimmy, yes, Howie. Yes. Jimmy, um, I, I think I understand how you made from the rabbits trick. I, 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 I think I understand. <laughs> um, but you know, if I found rabbits in inside my uh, my workshop, um, did you put um rabbits there because I saw the rabbits a few days ago and there were two and now there's seven maybe i did and maybe they just appeared jimmy um you, you, i know i know you know this but if you if you keep animals um you have to feed them yeah i know that's that's why i had the young kids in your in your bus to what i i had them in there um they were buying food feed so that they would pay me to be able to feed the rabbits they were buying food feed in my bus something like that yeah oh well okay as as long as you're making sure that you're feeding them feeding the rabbits because i don't uh want them but um um maybe yeah, I let I let one out to uh, eat the grass in the property, and it didn't do so well. It was a little uh, too close to the highway. I don't want to go there. But, you know, um, I, I do want to uh, suggest maybe that you take the boy rabbit and you put it in one room and you put the girl rabbit in another one because uh, nature is calling. Howie, oh, do you know there's rabbits in the kitchen? Oh, oh uh, I don't I don't know how to get down to there, but I'll 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 meet you in the bar. All right. Yeah, get get a get a crate. Oh the rabbits. You have a crate are in back the there? What'd you do? You you put you what there's rabbits in the bar. That's oh right. My. And in the coffee bar too. They like the snack foods. We we have to trap them. The customers well, are coming in any moment. They're friendly. I Although they might chew on that the they're friendly, legs. but you know, you can't let rabbits multiply in a bar. Think of it this way. We're the double nickel, and it's a unique experience for all our customers. We could call ourselves the double, double nickel rabbits. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you have a big hat we could put them in? Maybe you could no. do your magic act. Have you learned no. that part of magic, that there's a hat? No. Huh. Huh. What magic uh, do, have you learned so far, other than making me disappear? Making uh, really, money disappear. <laughs> that's Somehow different... I don't think that's magic. 
<laughs> yeah, but it seems to happen around here an awful lot. Oh. I just hold it for a little while. It, it does reappear. Most money, most money does reappear. I, because because Jimmy is a good boy. That's right. He's good at what he does. I'll I'll give him that. Yep. You and we love him very much. We do have to keep an eye out for some of the things he does. And we're very happy to have him because we love him very much. Yes, we do. He's such a good guy. Maybe we should take up a collection for him or set up a GoFundMe page. Why are you talking? Talk. You're not here. <gasps> oh, my God. He made magic and he disappeared. <laughs> oh, I'm going to go get my game ready in the back. I'll talk to you guys a little right. bit. I'm going to see what? if I can find a hat. What, how, how can he disappear and not be? How can he? What, what happened? He went back. From where? I didn't see. Did you see him when he was here? First you see him and then you don't. He's very good for magic. Very He's good. very good at disappearing when you don't want to find him. When he doesn't want you to find him, I mean. This is something else. As soon as there's work to be done, Jimmy knows how to disappear. Um, hey, guys, could you... Uh... Could you put some lucky numbers up on the bar? I'll pick them up later. Um, lucky numbers. What kind yeah. of lucky numbers you want? I hear there's going to be a good payout. Okay. Oh, I'll see lottery? what I can come up with. Yeah. How we, we pick a number. Put the, put the numbers up on the lottery bar? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I, yeah. I, I make the numbers now. I'm going to go look for a hat. Maybe we can do something with these rabbits. Let's see. One, four, seven. Uh-oh. You know, I've, uh, Howie, I, I uh, have a system. When I used to go to the racetrack, I used to go to the horses. Uh. I had a system. Okay. No, I'm sorry. I just realized that the numbers that I put up, was my password, which is probably not a good idea to put. No, I wouldn't put that up, but thank you. But that's the lottery. Yeah. What were you saying? I'm sorry. I'm... I don't know. Maybe we should have our own lottery here at the nickel. Oh, and we could, we could, um, we could barter or we could, we could give away things. Yeah. Oh, Jimmy, this is very smart. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Maybe you we know? can give um give people uh, rabbits because there yeah. be so many. You know, we could uh, discuss it. You know, like um, something that we would discuss for about two minutes. Look what I found. Oh, will this work? It's not what? very deep. It's a hat. Yes, it is. Is it okay. big enough? Well, Here. I'll tell you what, guys. I'm trying to walk the straight and narrow here. Yeah. But we're not making it. And with, uh, with Genevieve out of town and, and Zoop doesn't seem to come in anymore, our business has really slowed down. We need to do something about it. Well, I think you could do your magic because your magic is very. Well, just do that abracadabra thing. Go ahead. See if it, it makes us all disappear. Go all right. Ahead. Everyone close your eyes and say oh. abracadabra. Everybody. So, oh, no, we say what abracadabra. I, I, close my, he I don't says, want to close my eyes. Who says abracadabra, me or you? I don't know. Okay. Don't know. I don't know, but I, I'm going to go work on booking somebody because I think if we book some entertainment it'll help. Good idea. Abra, good I go Abra. Abra. Thank you so much for another wonderful show from Timeless at the Double Nickel and according to my notes which I did check between sets um, they'll be back next uh, next week. So sit back for five minutes and we have another show coming up the Upside Down Players to then be followed by brick and water, also in my notes. See you in a few minutes.
Bye.